How many times were these balloons blown up? Also, why would we need to destroy all these balloons? Who technically set up this challenge, you know? Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 10 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for the Xbox. So, we have one level here left to do that we also can't 100% because we need um, a power-up to get the orb, but we can get all the gems here, and that is Fracture Hill. It's my least favorite level in this entire world, but it's not a bad level, don't get me wrong. It's just my least favorite. And then we're on to my favorite world next. <sighs> Yeah, and that's the gimmick of this level. Earth Shapers are mad again, and let's talk to this cutie pie. Hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy Earth Shapers have encased it in stone. Yeah, and so your gimmick is you have to free the satyrs, which then their bagpipe music, for whatever reason, has the power to free the... the, the, the temple from... The Wrath of the Earth Shapers? I don't know how this works. The logic behind this makes no sense. Also, the ones with beehives are... Um, I do not appreciate you guys jump scaring me like that. I don't remember there being so many evil bushes here. Kind of a nod to Spiral 1 with those like trees and misty bog that, uh, that come alive. I don't know. Also, if you want the achievement here... You actually have to kill so many of these guys, but they're just kind of annoying. They don't really do anything else. Well, anyways, let's free Seder number one of six. I'm just gonna skip their music, cause, like, it's the same Thank thing. For releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in store. Yeah, I know there's satyrs left. There's six of you. Yeah, for whatever reason, they always play the exact same music as each other, and their music breaks the stone surrounding the temple. Logic, but whatever. Yo! Yeah, yeah, I get it. Same music every time, buddy. It'd be cool if you guys played different music, but sadly that's not the case. You guys just play the exact same nonsense. I don't really feel like killing all of you guys today. You guys are just so big and chunky that it's not even funny. Die! Because you gotta do stuff like that, it's just time consuming. Especially for some of these ones that are like, right here. That, you know, are really far from the lava. Also, I love how, like, when you get them close to the lava, they start to glow red. And you're dead. And they go, either they go bye-bye or uh-oh. I can't quite tell which one they say. We do need to kill a certain amount of enemies to use the power up here, because, like I said, very early on in the game, everyone has a power up where you need to kill so many enemies. How'd you end up way over there? That's not where I knocked you in. You kind of just, like, thrust forward. I knew I was going to get hit by at least one of you. It always happens. Because the camera angle likes to get you sometimes. And goodbye. Alright, so I don't think there's any more gems down here, so I've just been wasting my time. Nice. I would like another pig, though. Not a bush that'll eat me. Oh, look, the third one. Yay. I think only three of them have dialogue. Or it might only be two, I'm not even sure. Oh, look, another one already. Thing is, this level isn't really that big in a normal sense of things, it just takes a while to get everything done. Oh look, an evil bee tree. Wait, really? Two of the last three are here? Interesting. Hey Mr. Pig, I want your help. I hear more earth shapers down below. I hear them grunting and groaning. Anyways, I would like to break you out, please. You're the second last one. 
It's great to be free. Now there's only one Seder left to rescue. Yeah, I know. Like, why do you guys have to tell me that? You guys literally have a total on screen. I think what they should have did was not actually have, like, the uh, in-game total of how many satyrs there are. Also, this is the other orb, by the way. The one that you can- there's actually three. You, you can get two, but I don't do one of them because it's tied in with the one you can't get. This is the one I always do, though, because you can, however, get this one. You just need the supercharged power-up, which is right there. Anyways, let's go down here and deal with all of these guys down near the lava. And the skill point, you actually have to charge around that loop multiple times. But like people said on Twitter, just don't do the skill points. They're, they're not really worth it. People don't watch the content for that anyway. And it's just... Because the next skill point is going to be the hardest one to get in the entire game. Not this one, but like the one in the next level, which is the boss. Because they upped the difficulty of the second boss in this game way more than any other boss in this game. If anything, it's actually the only one that got upped in difficulty. Are you... are you stuck? He's stuck now, I can't even kill him. What a waste of my time, game. So I can't even get the achievement for killing all of them if I didn't have it because he got stuck against the wall. Love logic like that in video games, thank you very much. Die. And, wait, they eventually moved back. Huh. That's not even where I wanted to send you, but whatever. It works, because now I can kill you. There we go. No more stupid earth shapers shaping the earth, I guess. If they're called earth shapers, though, wouldn't that mean they're good guys? Wait, what? Um... In the original, you guys didn't go downstairs. What the heck was that game? And there's the final Seder. Nice. Now that you have rescued all the Seders in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. Wow, I ought... Wait, does he say anything different? Wait. Oh, there we go. Music can calm the savage beast, and bagpipe music can break solid rock. Um, no. No, it cannot. Don't go around playing bagpipes thinking it'll do that, because guess what? It doesn't do that. It's made up for this video game. That pig's corpse, man. It looks so sad. Oh no, Earth Shapers, but these ones we can't kill. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, those gems are mine. Unlike uh, Shitty Oasis, though, in the last episode, we can actually get all the gems here. So, now we gotta do another loop around. Also, there's gems up in here that we can get. We'll come back to that after we break through the uh, wall. Because then it just makes sense. Or I guess reinforce steel door. Because we'll be right back here anyway. Because logic. I don't know why they make you go through this so many times. But you have to. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please, take it. Thank you, Krista. At least these ones aren't as ridiculous as the uh, ones in Magma Cone, though. Like the, the, the male satyrs that are always partying. Partying? Partying. Now we'll go down here and collect the gems that are lingering amongst these dudes. Yeah, so here are the other two orbs, and you can't... Stand still. Yeah, 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 he owes you a favor. Can't technically get the second one, so I don't even do the first one. Because it that's the annoying part. The second one's pretty fun to do. The first part, not so much. It's kind of a, a very boring, bland... Wait, are there seriously still over 100 gems in this level? Wow, that's a lot of gems. Well, there's less than 100 now, but there were 100 when uh, I was collecting them all. But I guess that's a 25, so I guess they do give you a pretty big chunk. Plus, we do need to go to the temple, which the pathway is right here. This level's set up really weird. Like, you wouldn't expect this to be the temple pathway. 
Well, because it's not really. The pathway is right here, but... There's a random fawn in here. And there we go. And also, why is this the temple? There's nothing here. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to say, You're my hero. Thanks for saving poor, helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. I love how they think they've moved their mouth to the side. Oh, thank you, and that's all we're gonna do right now. So, off to the boss. Well, he did say it calms the savage beast, so I guess it does calm the savage beast. Let's see if it teleports me to the boss. Like I said, it didn't in the first world, but would in the second. Oh, lo and behold, it did. I told you. Skilo's bad. Oh, yeah, you tamed the pterodactyls from Skilo's badlands. I'm like, what? Anyways, we're on to well, We finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. <laughs> Galt, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Oh! You singed my cape! Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath! Don't! <laughs> Lunch time! Yeah, Gulp, the scariest boss I think ever released in Spyro, just because of how difficult it is. This no, thing is not easy. Because you can't actually hurt them normally, you have to wait for these things to come in. Don't destroy the egg! Oh, I wanted to hit you with it. What attack are you gonna use? Oh, the cannon. Watch out for the cannon. Also, another skill points to hit Ripto while he's on his throne. Oh, god, I hate the homing attack so much. Oh, now we got bombs. Whoa! Why did the bomb go over- wait. Why did the bomb go over there anyway? There we go. Bomb number two, go! It didn't do anything. This guy also has a huge health pool, like my lord. Or even drop eggs, guys. I don't have all day to stand around and, uh, wait, where's the other egg? Okay, because I have a, I have a, ch like a cheap thing I do. You can do this, and then can do it again. It allows you to get an extra hit in before he does things. And then he starts increasing how many times he uses certain attacks. And he'll only jump on you if you get close to him. Oh, really? Give me the bomb attack? The worst attack in the game? Oh, useless bomb attack. Are we at the point where he, like, does it more than four times yet? No. I don't even know if he does it in this game. Wait. Why are you doing that attack? Also, what the heck was that bomb? Why did it go over there? Oh, perfect. Uh, go! I don't know where that bomb went, but whatever. He only has four more hits to go. I will admit, though, this arena looks pretty cool. Also, Spyro's face when he runs is like, Ugh. Bring it. Is that going to be a missile? No, it's not going to be a missile. Then I don't care. Bring it, chicken legs. Oh, he's mad. Fire in the hole, buddy. No, I wanted to eat that. Oh, now we got this attack. Oh, he does have the one that shoots more than four times. 
This is also the most... Ow, patient you have to be for a boss... Um, game, why did he get stuck on me? Uh-oh. He farted a shockwave at me. Oh, hell. Oh. Wait, where'd the other chicken go that they had? The other chicken... I think he killed the other chicken. Chicken? Also, how'd you tame the pterodactyls, Alora? I want to know this. Goodbye. You did it! Whoa! Well, Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh-huh. Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. Sure you do. Gulp defeated. Did, 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 did. Oh yeah, this is longer than any low time in this game. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Oh! Ah! Ah! So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey, give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Money bags, Hunter, you two suck, man. Looks like Spiral, the little purple dragon, has everything to do again. I heard you moaning in the the the, the, the black. Yeah, we know he's still alive. He's... He just fell out a window. It didn't mean he died. Oh my god, rocks. I wonder how we deal with said rocks. I can't break any rocks. There's rocks everywhere. There's penguins everywhere. There's a money bags and a stump. And oh, I, I wonder why there's a money bags blocking a door. Yay. Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And, like all the best things, it, uh, doesn't come cheap. Yay! The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, and then press the action button. Wow, amazing. And then you do that. Funny thing is, is remember when I was playing Enter the Dragonfly? Yeah, that had... There, there was no reason for this ability to exist in that game. That or they just straight up forgot that they had put it in the game and forgot to include features. Also, fun fact, 
If there are multiple levels in, in Enter the Dragonfly that didn't have vases, including uh, the home world, including Thieves' Den, and I think it was Dragonfly Dojo. Oh, look. I fell down a cliff. Oh, no, I am dead. Oh, wait, no, I am alive. Oh, there's a waterfall there. Very interesting. Now I know what I'm doing here. I'm not that dumb. I've only played Spyro a million billion times. Anyways, money bags again. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Luckily, it's not. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Why do you say that every time? You say that for literally both speedways that you charge us for. Not very creative, dude. Also, isn't this home world just magnificent? Like, it's a snow world. But it's not bad. I don't even think there's any snow levels in this game, is there? I just straight up don't think there's any actual snow levels. There's levels that kind of have snow. Like Colossus and this one. And I think one of the levels here has, like, skips the snow. In the original, it didn't. D don't get me wrong. Like, it wasn't always with snow. But... This is the most snow you get. And this is the only the this is the only other time you do the ice physics. And then the, these portals you just open up with orbs. So well. And there's Cloud Temples. That's the level that they also have skips the snow, and that one's a pretty fun level. Has an annoying orb. Like it's not hard, it can just be annoying depending on your timing with everything. Otherwise, pretty fun level. Um, Mystic Marsh really cool level very small level but it's not a short level robotica farms is a pretty fun one funny that they chose a farm level to be so late in the game normally farm levels are like really early on but honestly not a bad level not a bad level at all and yeah so i believe there's one more yeah there's one more little pathway And this also leads to another level. This is Metropolis. I'm not a big fan of the name choice. Like, cities are always called Metropolis in this. Or, not in this, but like in video games, comic books, movies, novels. You know, stuff like that. Also, technically, to get all the gems here, you do need enough orbs to get to the final boss. Because there are gems hidden behind the door. So what you need to do is talk to her, and she'll open up the door, and then there's these gems. But we don't want to actually take on the boss yet. So we're going to wait just a moment for that. Also, there are gems over here, plus an orb. There's actually three orbs in this level. And all of them are just laying out around the uh, area. Now, how many gems are we missing? Are we missing a hundred? Wait, we have a hundred gems, but it didn't say that we had a hundred gems. Why? I swear it didn't say we have a hundred gems. And what you want is you want to go into this waterfall. Because lo and behold, down through... Where is it? Yeah, okay, down through here, we have the last orb. This side, when I found this out as a kid, I thought it was super cool. Now, I think we have time to do the speedway. Now... Did we actually 100% complete the level? We did. Let's go do Canyon Speedway. The final speedway. Now this level is probably my favorite speedway, just because it looks super cool. Normally I'd backtrack right away, but I don't think we have enough time to necessarily backtrack. So we're just gonna patiently wait. And smash some dudes' faces in. Oh look, the rings are blue! I'm pretty sure they were actually blue in the original too. They weren't multicolored for once, but... They were still blue, which is nice, and not red. Even though the picture of the rings is red for whatever reason, which makes no sense. Considering, you know... That they were blue. And only blue. None of them were red even in the slightest. There we go, there's all the Vulturions dead. And now we gotta follow this pathway and kill all these weird... What are they? Hillbillies on tractors? Wait, why do they always make farmers hillbillies, you know? 
It doesn't sound very nice to to do. And we got the skill point once again without even trying. Now we gotta go find Hunter. Which I'm pretty sure if we just 360 around... Which way is he? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I guess we'll check this way. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Completed all those without meaning to. Oh my god, how am I so lost? Get out of here. I don't know why I'm lost, guys. Don't, don't, don't judge me. I don't know how I did it flawlessly last time, but then this time, not so much. Pretty sure it's this way, right? Through this weird glowing pathway. Oh yeah, there we go. Now Hunter is... Right there. There we go. Hey, Hunter. Alright, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Okay, Spyro. Here's what you gotta do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Press the attack button to fire the gun, and use your left stick to aim. Alright. Let's pop some balloons. You do realize what a machine gun is, right? This is like semi-automatic at best. This is not a machine gun. Also, since when did machine guns shoot laser beams? Oh, oh my lord, my lord, my lord. Ah, I hit that blimp without even meaning to. Nice. Man, that balloon almost went off screen entirely. Some of them can be kind of rowdy, you know? Like, they're pretty difficult to hit sometimes. Also, why do they have patches on them? How many times were these balloons blown up? Also, why would we need to destroy all these balloons? Who technically set up this challenge, you know? Like, it's kind of weird if you, if you ask me, but... That's just my opinion, and we did it. Nailed all the targets. It must be because you had such a good pilot. Well, you weren't terrible, Hunter. You weren't terrible. I'll give you that, buddy. I'll give you that. Anyways, we beat that level. Nice. So in the next episode, we uh, are going to backtrack and complete the last two levels in Summer Forest, or not Summer Forest, in Autumn Plains, and then we'll never have to backtrack again. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I will see you guys all next time for another episode of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Bye bye